Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebo Joe and this is Warcast and Resources Soviet Republic. We are on episode 41. Usually this is getting pretty close to me being done with a Republic season game, safe, whatever you want to call it. However, I think we've just started the mid game, which is awesome. And today I would like to maybe expand into two new villages. Two. You know, I was hoping there was going to be more going on on this little bridge over here or on the bridge behind it, but apparently the game was just like, <laughs> no, but there's a bus, so we have that going for us, which is great. Oh, there's another one. No, no, there's action. And look at that smoke. Uh, anyways, no, today, today is a big day because I would really, 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 really like to get two extra villages built also i would like to move this thing but that's not my priority right now because we're not doing a lot of rare construction as we're sitting here just doing that stuff and they can do that with or without me so just do this thing seriously <laughs> no uh, but that's fine why two villages well we have we're okay on all of these numbers where we i need to be better on happiness but we're okay we're, we have a good starting point we have a good source all of that is okay you said that Yes, uh, it is okay. So um, that's good for right now. What are we doing here? Yeah, this is just collecting that stuff. We could export this, but I'm just gonna wait for that for a little while. Um, we should be we should be just fine. Um, but I want to export. Sorry, I want two villages. One out here. Let's go on the map so we can actually see something. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. I would like one village somewhere in this general area because I would like to put our exports, our power exports, right here. Either here or here. Uh, I'm not terribly concerned about either of those, but there's a mountain here, so it's probably going to be uh, closer to this side. If we put our power exports... There, wait, what's the, where's the fuel? Where's the where's the extra oil? The extra oil is on this side. It's on the mountain. Got it. There's extra oil down there, too. Okay, that helps. So we could do all of the exportage here. The thing is, with exports... Let's turn our map off. Uh, power exports, that is. The... I think we have one of these, right? Foreign power connection, good. Uh, they just have to be close enough to the border. Well, they have to be on the border. Okay, so we do have to adjust this lake just a little bit, but nothing stops us from putting a power connection somewhere along this line, okay? Let's, let's say we put it right there, and now we can research the other one because you have to research one at a time. That's fine, uh, it's not the end of the world. So now I have a bunch of these power stations sitting here, and we know that every electrical building can catch on fire can the border connections catch on fire that i do not know uh probably let's, let's check it out uh cheat mode activated maybe um if we go here system functions no let's highlight this thing action with object start fire technically it says start fire on there is there a building that i know of that you can't start a fire in this one um i don't know because I, here's the thing i know that this thing burned down and if those two burn down, I would like to assume that everything that looks similar to these guys can also burn down, which means, to me, uh, the border connections can totally burn down. So I, I would like to assume that they can. I think we're all fine with that. Um, so if we do that, if we make that assumption, then we need fire protection for that thing. Fire protection is great, but we also have oil sitting here. So if we assume that um, somewhere in this area... well. There, there's oil here. How far is oil? Gotta figure that out before I do too much stupid stuff. Um, it's really just on this mountain, which is honestly good because that means we can run a road straight across here and all of our oil derricks pump jacks should be able to just fit right into here. Awesome. That's great. And I cannot wait for trying to terraform this. I probably just have to make a plateau up here uh, and that'll be awful. But we're, we're here. We're there. Uh, I would like to build here. So we're going to do power connections there. We're going to do fuel oil here. I don't know that I can put a, uh, the oil refinery here. We're right next to the city, so we're really not that far away. I could put a refinery probably in this general area, and it would totally be fine. It would be right in the middle of two oil pumping stations, uh, and that could work. However, the oil refinery needs so many workers. It needs 1,500, well, it needs 500 per shift, at least 1,500 per per round and if we round that up um for like utilities and all the other stuff we're at least at 2000 2000 people and that is getting um tight 
Not too tight, because the other thing that I want to do with villages, I would like to build them so that I don't need all the special utilities. And when, I, when I'm looking at this, I, I can't put a heating plant somewhere here. I have to put the heating plant uh, somewhere over on this side, and we're not getting coal in. So I'm, I'm creating issues for me here already, but I would like a village here. I would like a village somewhere in this area. And once I have a village, I probably know a little better of what I want to do here. Um, but the other thing that we need is every area that we are building in now will eventually require some maintenance um, to exist, to just continue existing. And that in itself can cause issues. So how about we do this? We're just going to connect something here. I'm going to make this, make an asphalt road right away. Uh, it's a really far driving distance otherwise. Yeah, but most of my vehicles can't go that far. So let's just make this gravel just to get in here and then uh, they can figure out how we're going to continue on on that behavior that's fine construction office one just do your thing do your worst so that can start here that's good um we need a village and then we need the fuel uh fuel refinery i think honestly over here is not a terrible place for a fuel refinery i looking at it it's, it, it feels right and the other thing that i could do here is i could build a rail bridge that crosses somewhere in this area and build like a butterfly junction or something along those sides and then we can get all our fuel in from wherever we are i can use extra workers which we should have eventually coming through here um and then obviously from our from Greifswald over there and then from the village that we have here which should give us enough workers to make this work and we can probably also spare a couple extra workers for uh, these two industries if i put for example a passenger passenger drop off right here and the fuel refinery right next to it i don't hate any of those things the other thing is the fuel refinery would have fire coverage already and maintenance coverage those are good things those are actually great things that we should consider this one's slowly filling up yeah we, but we can just empty the whole storage they have to fix this because all the other waste versions can not be just turned off i would love to turn on these things but um recycling not worth it yet right now we will just have to import so much stuff and i don't even have the capacity at the border right now this before i can turn this on we need so much more rail and this is the other um the other village that i would like to build probably around here it's really dark buddy uh probably around here it just i don't want it too far away from any of the industries that we're building i will probably build some more farms around here potentially because there's a lot of empty space but yeah, right here does not feel like a bad place for another village because um, most of the work that's done here can be done by just a few people, especially around gravel. And then everything over here can just be a little extra. So if this is another 2,000 person village, that is fine. Um, something that I want to try there is make utilities optional. Like I would like to have um, water just being shipped in by technical service offices. I don't want to put another server, uh, another water thing right there which means we have to set up a water uh drop-off station somewhere nearby and well maybe uh, with, with that node we also already have a high tower here or a big tower um it was probably enough to just run a quick pipe out here and then well we technically have this lake that lake's not going to be there forever i may have to move the the border post and that is fine i may just well, we'll just have to figure out where i'm going to put the sewage has to go somewhere again those buildings i'm assuming let's triple check that have wear and tear this one was just repaired or it's just going really slow for um for uh wearing and tearing so i think that's all good how are we doing here they're all really good there's a lot of a lot of a lot of vehicles there not a lot of vehicles a lot of um tanks there and i would like to get rid of my loan so how about we spend a little bit of our dirty nato money uh, open hall, yes. Two of this again, sure. And then once they're there, we can figure it out. Awesome. So, let's make some plans here. The first plan that I make will just be an export, export version for the first power that goes through there. But, and this is a very important but, this one also has to be the one that splices into our main network on that side. So I have to get there. There will maybe some underground wires um, if we absolutely have to, but... Um, let's set this up so that we actually can do all those things. High voltage switch, just somewhere right here. Really doesn't matter what you're pointing at. Um, it would be nice if we... Wow, yeah, we're not... We're, we're nowhere near 
<laughs> the grid that we want here, but that's fine. Um, I would like to make sure... Let's flip you around. Like... Ah, I'm doing it wrong. There you go. Flip you around, and you will just be our first starter point. And we will just have power come in here. Um, be our large export, just like that. Um, that should be good. It's, it's not lining up great. All right, we'll figure it out. Uh, turn off the grid just for a minute. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like the spacing. Nope. I do not like the spacing at all. You go away. Technically, you go away. Let's just see what we can do here. This is really not important, but make that a little longer. Make that a little longer. And then make this. Okay, trick. Um, just a road or a footpath, whatever you want to put there. Get our pole down and then uh, you are happy. Cool. Good enough. That that will work. That will, that will make me happy for the time being. That's our first export. Um, obviously not built yet. You also have to be connected to a road somewhere. There you go. Good man. Good lad. Um, now we have to connect this to our other power that's coming from all the way out here. So at some point this might be ugly, but for right now this is what we're going to do. Uh, use the middle. Use the outside. Sure. Use the outside one. Let's see how we're looking if we just run out in a very straight line. I don't mind this having to go around the lake. Um, that actually gives an opportunity... Gosh, it's, dunk, it's dark again. This actually gives a good opportunity to realign all of our uh, power lines when we get to them, but that's fine. So, it would be, would be nice if I could actually see something. It looks like we still have to get past the leg just a little bit. Like there. And then can we connect into here? Yes. That one's connected, and that that's fine. Now, this is our power export line, our first one, and we can add many, many more. <laughs> Once the first one is running, uh, I think we will be very happy, and life is going to be good. But it's going to be a little, little while longer until that happens. So this one is here. Now, seeing this, I think this is one that doesn't have the full export power. So how about, how about just for just for funsies, we're not using that one yet. <laughs> Let's go back. Um, this is our first, well, this is technically our first one, but I'm not sure that we're ever going to use that, that, that ha that, that weakling, the one that doesn't have full power. Let's use that one instead, and that should give us the full export potential that we ever want to care about. Great. So that's done. Uh, the gravel road is not done, but almost, which is nice. So, things that we need up here. We definitely needed, um, a, um... Part of me felt that we needed a construction office out here. We do. We do need one for repairs. But the other part just realized that we have this road that's out here. <clears throat> come on. Come on. I know you want to. No, you're just not doing it, right? <clears throat> All right. Fine. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're just going to come from this side. Yep. Yep. This is going to do it. Uh, get the get the road in here that's fine make a gravel um, as far as you can and then we're gonna be here wonderful that should actually be almost auto assigned to the construction office that we already had so doing those two things should give us enough coverage to get built here pretty fast so I don't think we need a local um, construction office to get the city up and going but I do want a local construction office for repairs just one like we have in this area up here that should be more than sufficient for everything that we need to do. So that's good. Good, good, good. Yes. No, I like it. Let's build the city. Uh, the village. So, about 2,000 people is what I want. Um, that is for mainly um, the oil refinery. I'm not planning on putting any other industry out here. So 2,000 people should be able to be taken care of by our little shopping center. Let's find that. Um, it is this one. This should be good enough. And we have a 400 meter range. Um, so that should be somewhere probably most likely in this area. And I'm going to assume that our supply comes from that side. Uh, because that would make my life a little easier. Okay. So that one gets assigned here. Let's get a meat storage because of all the reasons that we talked about a while ago. Don't mind if you're right next to this here. Do I want you here? Do I, do I actually want you alone? Yeah, this is fine. Uh, okay. Okay. That's good. You can go in there. 
And then you will just get a road that will go into right there, and that should be fine. Should we just build that right now? No, no, let's wait. Let's wait a little bit. Why are there no footpaths on this side? That's weird. Anyways, uh, they can figure it out. But yeah, they will get us our food in, and our food comes from right here, which is a little out of the way driving-wise, because it, it extends the driving range just uh, enough to be annoying, but I think it will be fine. Looks like that one is done. Let's get the next piece assigned and uh, make them work. Cool. So, uh, we have this one done. Let's get some quick lines in the sand to figure out where we need to go. So, where's my measuring tool? Measuring tool is right here. 400 meter that way. Uh, 300 meters. That's totally fine. Also, 250 meters here is totally fine. And then, what is the extent here? Probably about 300 meters there. So, let's give me... Uh, a line here. This one doesn't have to be a really big village. I don't even know what uh, what I want to use yet, but um, we need a starting point. And then we get from here to about there, also about 300 meters, and life should be okay. That's all good, I think. That will all check out. Um, we do need heat, and that has to be reasonably far enough away, but I would like to do this with a small heating plant. Uh, which hopefully 700, 750 meters is sufficient. So we'll see how this goes. I never have good experiences with the small heating plants, but I do know there are reasons to use them. So I would actually like to use them. So let's use them. <laughs> here we go. Uh, plop you down here. And here's what I want to do with this, because what what is the what is the heat water tank? It's 210 cubic meters. That is two small um heat pipes into a large heat exchanger and then we can go up to 60 percent capacity what is 60 percent capacity you may ask it is neither of these. <laughs> these these are pretty much maxed uh okay 60 percent capacity let's see what our what our city is going to look like if i use just simple prefabs like this we need 20 of these buildings um, our heat tank is what? 6 cubic meters. So 20 times 6 is 120 cubic meters. So we can totally do this plus a little extra and that will be it. That will be totally fine. That can give us 2,000 um, citizens. Honestly, that convinced me that this is totally fine. <laughs> so let's, let's do that. Um, I don't think I will hate having a grid available here uh, for our flat. So let's do that. Um, sure, you can just look there. One, two, three, four, five. If I do five, I need twenty. Then this is the this is the number that I actually have to copy. So let's do that. If I clone this, <clears throat> wow, something is just in my throat, and it's really annoying, but that's fine. If we just clone this, I hope it's I hope it's fine for you guys too. Sorry. Um, we clone this and just go a little further away. And now we have 10. Um, and then we go on... Honestly, we're just going to do this. Now we have 10. This is half of our city size. And now we have 20 when we're done with this one. And that gives us everything that we need for this whole sector. And now we can make the middle like a... In a way, a... Let's realign. Should I realign this? No, I kind of like that they're a little bit at an angle. I, I overreacted. <laughs> Um, let's put it back in because it's different and different is good. You, we don't need the grid right now. Go away. Uh, yes. Make you a little awkward at the angle at which you're placed here so um, everyone can be, can have opinions about this. Why didn't that work? It was totally fine the first time you had it. Just then you destroyed it and now you're, you're causing issues again. Good job. There you go. You did it. Proud of you. So, I would like this road to get done, please. Someone, um, hurry up. Yeah, you don't want to. You're just too far away. Also, how's our gravel looking here? It is... Oh, we, we have enough gravel to make this work. So that should be fine. Looking at our happiness and our health and our unemployment, all those numbers are very good. Uh, checking in over here. I cannot wait until we can actually... Um, actually detail this, because it's... I think it will look really good once we have some trees and some bushes and some other stuff in here. Right now we just don't have that yet. This is obviously still a thing with the tramps, we still have to get them done. Once this piece of road is done, I can start on this side as well. And then this whole road that we see here also has to be asphalted. We're just not quite there just yet. So um, be patient. 
how about you get this thing done because somebody has to and then you could start honestly you could start on this we just need a road connection there is a technical service office here which you'd kind of abandoned do you really still need it i think i don't know the answer so we're just gonna have to see what happens some other infrastructures in the way what are you talking about that's so weird <laughs> um okay let's look underneath yes there are those pipes and i'm assuming those pipes are just a little too high up which is why the game won't let me build something there which is um annoying but hey we fixed it cool and then just give me gravel road that goes from here to somewhere else gravel this while we're here get a build tell construction office to to do none of those things just this one <laughs> just this one and maybe if we're if we're already doing this get get those wires done those lines this one can be technically assigned and yeah if you cannot actually connect to them i think it has to do with these roads not being done yet so how about you just get started on them and we'll figure out what we can and can't do um afterwards i think they'll be fine all right so you're doing that it's dark again um 13 000 people is what i would like but we're not there yet but our happiness is going up so that's good so very simple, very simple city setup. Nothing, nothing complicated about this, very obviously, but that is fine. I would like to have this, well, I would like to have a road done, but I have a feeling this may be our main road that we can run through the city because it gives us more space to build other things that are absolutely required uh, for the rest of the city. How's this? Oh, this is, look at that, look at that lineup. Wow, I, I accidentally did that, but that kind of worked out. And then, yeah, just give me another road connection here. Most of our goods will come from this side, so let's give them a fighting chance to actually get in there. But this looks fine. This is this is a very, very, very excellent good start. Cool. Um, here's the thing. I would like to only um, worry about water here via, via trucks without pressurized pipes. I do not know if just adding any pipes will pressurize them. So if I put a tower here that we could dump our water in, would that be, um, would that trigger the pressurized water usage? Because once you have pressurized water usage, you just use a lot more and it's quite annoying. So I would like to avoid that, um, but we'll see. I, I, I don't think I want to build this. I think I just want to build a water substation that can reach everyone that you can see, which is just like this. Um, this is actually what I was hoping for. Plopping that down here. Okay, your, your footpath is going the completely wrong way. Uh, plopping that down here. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right behind the um, city center. Should be good because that should reach everyone. And then we can put a sewage tank right in the same place. Um, also, just as long as you reach everyone, we're good. So that's fine. And then we just put a large heat exchanger. I, I don't want to do a bunch of little ones. I'd just rather do a large one because you can combine heating pipes into one thing so if we put you here you are connected to everything and this just becomes a little um utility hub let's give some room because i would like to be able to run some uh, footpaths in there and then we're good <clears throat> now we have heat here i do absolutely need a heat, heat exchange um, a heat pump otherwise i can't combine them so this one has to go somewhere along the way um i'm not going to give you a road connection right now actually are you the pipes are or the, the pipes are on that side okay so if i put you here get me two small pipes that is the small one right yes uh give me two small pipes that just connect straight into here and then f3 to see the underground stuff um there you go you can run all the way along here and then you connect there that's good nothing is above ground there's maybe nope there's nothing above ground nothing i have to worry about that can get built, and that makes me happy. Wonderful. <clears throat> okay. Construction office, are you... Yeah, you're not interested in that anymore right now. That's fine. So, this village is almost there. What else do we need? We just need our normal uh, citizen needs. Let's, talk, let, let's, let's call it that. We need a cinema. We don't have anything smaller than this. We could get more attractions from different tourism things. An indoor pool apparently gives you some attraction, but that's not what I want. A uh, big restaurant in here? No. Carousel? Interesting. I think a side tower? I heard that a side tower is really good at attraction. So maybe giving you that here is an option? Maybe? What do you think? 
What do you think? Should we use this? Is there anything that they get? No, there's no food or nothing else that they get on there. And this one does a little better. It does 10 and 90. I would not... Like, this almost looks like a surveillance tower for this village. <laughs> I kind of don't hate it. So, let's use it and we'll see how it goes. We can always add a... Um, a... A... What? What? Cinema. Yes. We can always add a cinema later. And we'll just see how that goes. Concert hall, hall or dance hall? Dance hall makes me think very much like... That's what a village would do. That's what most of the villages where I grew up actually had all the time. So I'll honestly kind of want to plop this here and see how see what goes. See how it goes. See what happens. Um, now we have two attractions that are probably more than overkill for this uh, little village. But hey, we have it, so may as well go with it. The village will have a pub. Um, there's no question about that. The pub will exist right next to the uh, grocery store and everything. So that is good. I didn't mean to make that road connection there, but that's... Oh well, are you almost done yet? 94% and you're still delivering people here. You are being silly. Yeah, more gravel, get done. Thank you. Uh, construction office, get onto this. And I would really like you to get all the other things done. But hey, can't get everything. And then if we look over here, are we moving? Yes, we are moving, just not as fast as I want you to move, but that's fine. Ooh, it looks like you do have access to all of this stuff now. So I would like you to build these pipes um from the source and then we don't have to think about where they come from so get that one in there get that one in there and also get this one in here they shouldn't cost too much money We're, we've been floating around the same amount of money which is actually really good so we don't have to worry about that stuff wonderful moving on uh, do we have any obvious issues i don't think i heard anything collapse in a while which means our fire coverage is sufficient which is good um, so yeah, let's just continue working on what's going on over here. Uh, we do need more things. More things like a kindergarten. This is just a small town. A simple kindergarten. This one doesn't need any footpath connections, so I'm going to leave that for later. The school also doesn't need any footpath connections. We'll leave it for later. We will need a police. Absolutely. Small police station here, just on the outside, outskirts of town, should be more than sufficient. There's already a node here, so we'll just uh, plop you in here. But that should be fine and taken care of. <clears throat> no courthouse at some point we can add a prison here if we need if we can use the workers for our stuff so that's fine secret police we probably do want secret police running around here it's not it's not my favorite but it's fine it's fine if we have it there so let's plop that in here as well then we do need um hospital of course and this can be on this side of town just just spreading out the utilities and the place is just a little more i would like to flip you um yeah it should be fine i'm i'm not terribly worried about footpaths in this village in this town because there's a lot of room to get everything done that we would ever want to get done hey this one can just go in there that's fine so we're almost done with all the things that we need we have police now we have this we do need a technical service office 100 and has we probably need two <laughs> i i i'm not I'm not even kidding about that. Uh, we, we will need a lot of technical service stuff. So that one can go right here and we will connect that as we get to it. Refueling. Refueling probably has to happen on two sides. So, well, one over here would make more sense on this side of town. Uh, but then I don't know if we need one again on the other side of town. We'll just see how it goes. Should be fine. Shouldn't be terrible. But um, hard to know. Hard to tell. So that is also in. That's very good. So now we have food. We have a pub. We have some attractions. We don't have sport yet. Uh, there's this sport hall or this one. This one seems to be a little better. So I'd rather use this one um, for, for this town. For a town this size. How about right here? Sure. And there's not a lot of room. Now you have to pick if you want to put the school there or if you want to put your kindergarten there. <laughs> Yeah, that's a problem for later to figure out. Building's on fire. Okay, let's look where, where this is happening. We are paused. Um, my heat exchanger, you should be more than close enough to um, to a fire station. Cool. Nothing nothing happens. Everything, everyone was good. This looks fine. Uh, we're at 13,000 citizens. Whoop, whoop. Um, that looks fine. Hopefully this looks fine. It does. We're a little low on food, but I think we can solve that. We don't have too many crimes there. We don't have too many crimes here. This one is also doing just fine. Let's reduce the number of workers. Oh, yeah. 
all the all the good things our kindergartens are not overflowing our indoor pool is doing something useful that's great how you doing in general no sport it's right there just walk to it uh spirituality pub or tavern okay yes should i turn that on we could get some happiness i still want more workers we need a lot more workers hmm it's very hard to decide i, I don't know what i want there I do know that we need to do our um, our tram network. That's That still has to happen. That one and that one. Get this assigned to number two and then figure it out. I'm just doing from both sides so they can actually connect to it reasonably well. How's this going? You are doing what you're supposed to. That's good. Do more of it. How's this going? We have a big row of containers sitting there. No row of containers sitting here. All right. We can fix that. I would like you... To start, ooh. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> you remember what I talked about with where the nuclear fuel is supposed to go, right? And I was like, oh, I could just go there. Um, I, I'm surprised to see that we have a full container utility sitting there, but that's fine. I think I just want, to, want you to go to here, wait until full, and take him to the ruble side, and just l let it be for now. We, we don't have to worry about anything uh, too crazy for the time being at least let's get you out of the out of the depot get the other one going and then we will start exporting more stuff which is that's not a that's not a bad thing uh trash i would actually like to see how we're doing on waste mixed waste 68 tons sitting here that is a lot um i don't th because nothing is overflowing i don't think that's a real problem so that should be okay but other than that, there's 18 tons sitting here. Yeah, as long as you have um, containers doing that, I think it's okay. Bio waste, yeah, that's fine. Hazardous waste, anyone? 4.3 4 tons, okay. It's almost a full container there. There is almost a full container here. Yeah, no, I, th I think that's okay. They're, they're doing what they're supposed to do. How about you? Do you have a tra You don't have trash pickup in range. That's not good because they only have a small container. Okay, we can fix that. Let's see. Uh, just the bigger container. Um, anywhere where it fits, this should be totally fine. Sure. And we can use you for some of the other big buildings. There's nothing wrong with that. Very good. Okay, back to our village. Our road should be close to done at this point. Look at this guy. Can, can you just get it done so we can keep moving? That'd be, that'd be super great. Uh, there was a train that just ran for you. I hope you don't mind. Okay, that one is done. Um, yeah, let's just get more of this assigned, and then get that one assigned, and then we, we are pretty much in the city now, so life is pretty good. Awesome. Moving on. What am I missing? I am still missing a, um, a school, probably, and a kindergarten, definitely. A university. I don't have one here. I don't know if I want one. If I will build one, it has to be the small headquarters of the party. Um, and it could fit right here. Um, it's an option. It's totally an option. I don't know that I want it or don't want it. Let's do our heating quick, because I see that I haven't done that. Um, Q to go down lower, at least at least to three meters. That should be fine. And then just run you over here. Make, make the shorter line. Sure. Good enough. Um, and that's our heat. Done. Um, sewage. Well, sewage just has to be dropped off somewhere. I, I can figure out. I can, I can worry about that later. Um, what else do we have going on here? I need... <laughs> Let's see. Let's think. No, I think it's just schools. School and kindergarten. Really all we have left. I'm not building an orphanage yet. I, we do need a fire station. This is the whole reason why we're building this thing. Uh, so how about we get that one done? We'll put that in the same area where most of our, like, help, uh, our public utilities are. I think that's a good word for it. Let's put you there and make a road connection here. And that one can be uh, connected to this as well. So that should be fine. And you should be technically in walking range of most of the buildings. I will. Pr I, I haven't figured out where I'm going to put my uh, passenger station yet. But yeah, 400 meters there. Most of these people will all get to you, which is good. I honestly think this may be the best place for our bus station we have 2,000 people here now figure out a bus station that's good enough sized 600 is not bad 500 these could be fine but put you here everyone kind of goes there and it's right next to the 
uh, store. And can you get out of here pretty easy? I think it's saying no. <laughs> um, okay, that's that's a little unfortunate. I don't want to go bigger than that, but this this is really all we need. This is a village. The village is usually not built around a, um, a bus station because back in the day, buses weren't a thing. So I, I would be happy with this, I think, if you go there. And then we can still build a couple more buildings here and a couple more buildings here. I think a big kindergarten here and a school and a headquarter right here would make the most sense because that would allow us to do everything that we need to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, oh, well, that's fine. I'll get these assigned for now or at least ready to go. You, you can already build you. That's good to know. Uh, and you should be able to just get in there. Also good. Cool. Get those also assigned to our groups. I will probably use construction office group number two very soon to help build all those things. All right. You're already here, so may as well start build this. Looks like our pipes, our power lines just got done, which is great. This is all done. That's all really, really good. Um, and then, yeah, we can just do all this stuff. Excellent. Citizen's health is too low. Okay, where's that? We're at 92% health in general. Um, there's one person in a really fancy house that's just like, no, I'm sick. Well, get, get healthy. Um, how are you doing? You are fine. Our hospitals are not the problem, so... We will just keep going like nothing ever happened. You guys are really doing really good. Awesome. I, I like seeing that. Um, happiness, yeah. Our, our population. How's our population graph looking anyways? Yes. <laughs> it kind of looks sad. Uh, but but this is the this is the incline that I need. That's the that's the angle that I need to make this one all work. So I'm excited for that to actually happen. Looks like you got part of the um, of the tram network done or tram line done. So let's get a next one uh, right here and get that one assigned. Cool. Um, all right, village. Whatever problems do we have? We don't have power yet. Okay. Well, we kind of get power from here, so we should probably uh, utilize that once we get this thing started. I don't think that should be a huge deal or problem. So let's. How about we do? something for that i would like um uh, electric substation no this one power transformer yes if you plop this in here somewhere on this side and then get a high voltage switch uh, across from you that should be good we don't need anything big here 10 megawatts is probably more than this little area will ever swallow so that should be fine then let's get a big one this will be the export line actually lined up pretty well i like that and yeah just assign that and we'll figure out, we'll figure out the rest later but this one should be able to get us all the different power connections uh, that we need for for this area okay kindergarten you said kindergarten here 2000 people is what you have to plan for okay uh, this one is 120 180 and 270 i think this has been uh, a favorite a crowd favorite for me at least and I think we're just going to keep going with that, unless this one really fits better. No, that's a, that's a school buddy. Uh, here's just a much smaller kindergarten. We could use this. I always say kindergartens are just used sporadically. We don't have to main, like, they don't have to be there all the time. They just have to be there enough. Put that in there so I don't forget that. Uh, and then kindergarten, yes. No, I, I think I want to be safe and want to go with the middle-sized one and uh, just leave it at that. Honestly, that looks fine. That's what I need. School, 156 versus 360. I really don't think we need a big school like this, so I would like to just go with a small school um, like this. And then the headquarter can just go right across from it. And then we're really done with the city, I think. I obviously forgot things, and we don't have heat done. Um, and we don't have a monument yet. Okay, a monument will be easy because we already have the research done for all of these. So let's get the big star. Uh, plop that right in front of the... Um, these are all, like 400 meters is pretty much everything that we have here. It doesn't fit there. We could fit it here, right in between this, but there's going to be a lot of walking distance happening there. Can I get a footpath through here? Yes, yes I can. I'm going to plop that there, otherwise I will forget. Um, monument. <laughs> we could put one right here by the bus station. Um, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a bad place to go. 
but it's right behind this tower, which makes it hidden. We could plop one right here, which is part of the city entrance, but then the fire station may have problems getting connected. We could just turn the fire station around if that is the problem that we're running into. I think I don't hate this. Yes, right there. Should be fine. We can build it whenever we're ready for it. And now this is a village and I would actually like to get some trees in here. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like that's a thing, um, but getting trees earlier feels like something that I just want to do. So beach, beach or pine or any of these. I think I want spruce. Um, just just a couple of them and we'll just take them down later and let's let's make this look like there was a forest here before um, I'm just clicking lightly and we can we can remove them later on let's get a forest in here and then let's pretend that the forest came down from um, from the mountain here so it kind of ties into other things a little bit did you know that your um, your woodcutter wood woodcutting post can actually go in off the map? To get their trees and you can actually plant off the map as well so there we go it's probably too thick but it's fine uh we're just gonna make this work okay and then yeah there this one this this little heating plant is just sitting in a little little forest as well i i honestly kind of i hope this will look good <laughs> this is i this is not what i do this is not what i'm good at i don't know what i'm good at but this is not it um, so that's fine. Let's get number two actually on this, so they can they can start building the or the the buildings a little bit, and that should be good. How's it going over here? Um, okay, tram line. That one is almost done. Very good. Let's get the next one assigned, and then we're almost we're getting close to done here, and that's very exciting for me. You know, I guess just one piece at a time. Doesn't matter what the length is. Um, that's good. 13,000, yeah, no, we're, we're going to leave it like this because our happiness and everything has been moving a very natural way upwards, which is exactly what we need. How's it going over here? We have some money, good. We have some money coming through there, good. We just need more of it. Okay, so this one's done? I think so. I think the city is done besides power. We can probably find a place to put the power connectors, uh, substations is what they're called. Uh, that will cover most of the city. So if we really put one here, right in front of the, uh, <laughs> right in front of the monument, it's probably silly. But this feels like a pretty good space. Uh, if it covers those two buildings as well, that's actually really big bonus. So that one there, and then we just really need one more here on this side, and this one can probably um, point like this, and we will cover everything that we need in that city. Cool. I think that's good. So now we have power. We have all those things. Um, this may actually, well, this one I'm going to just move around um, because the power will come in from that side. So if I have you here, in addition to the other uh, power substation that we have there, we will cover the whole city. So that is good enough. Let's get, uh, let's see if we can build a couple um, oil derricks in here and see what happens. Um Yes, I, I didn't I didn't think that we would have any of the vehicles that we would need available right now. So what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? This road is done. We could build our temporary construction office in either of these places. We just need some power. That's really all that we need to make this work. And I think down here may be fine. And then put a couple bulldozers in it um, for the time being. And then later on, fill it in with all the vehicles that we actually need. To do the repairs i don't think that's a terrible idea i really don't think so so uh construction yes construction office 12 i think that is the number that we agreed on earlier this is that's very reasonable let's put you you are in power range which is good let's put you here get you built uh get you done awesome so that one can go here and yeah this wow 45 minutes to build this little village <laughs> i really didn't think i was that distracted um, but this gets us started on this whole area, which is really all that I wanted. Now I can go concentrate on the next little area that we also have to build something and hopefully get that started as well. And if we have two areas started at the same time, I am hoping and very hopeful that we can get, um, well, that we can move along a little faster. It will cost a little more money in terms of, um, uh, building costs or construction costs, but I don't think that should stop us here. So, I would like a road to come out from there. 
to here somewhere doesn't matter that much you can run over that gravel that's fine and then yeah at some point there's going to be some rail running around somewhere here and i will add more fields i will definitely add another farm probably this size um but there's so much room that shouldn't be a real issue so i would like just a just a city just a village here with 2,000 people again that do the same thing as we just as we just set up is there a way to build the road uh in such a way that it actually makes sense to to connect to here let's see i have all the drop-offs here but that doesn't include the drop-offs for this um for this side okay do we have a realistic chance to go through here yes yes we do i did not expect that okay well if, you, if you're if you're happy to go through there then this is what i'm going to use to connect our 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 couple of roads here that's fine that's a good crossroad and the other crossroad where is the other drop off these well the drop or drop off is really all the way up there and to connect to you you would just have to come in on this side but there's going to be rail here so that's not going to be helpful so <clears throat> i think the right answer would be to build this first and then later on um add a second road connection that they don't have to go all the way around here but that'll be fine can i get, actually get out here yes i can good can i get out here yes i can um, awesome. So that one can get started. Construction Office 2. These are all yours. Uh, and if you want, you can actually get this one also done. I'm okay with that if you want to. Because gravel will be the next thing that I build eventually. <laughs> Probably fuel first. Okay. Um, we just did the things. So let's do it again. Um, get me this one. Should this one be more centric around a bus connection? Kind of. Although... Do we have a fire station here? Where's a fire station? A fire station. I, I know that I built all oh, the fire stations all the way up here. Okay, yeah, that can be serviced by the buses from that city, from that town. I think that would be fine. And there are multiple ways for you to get in there. Um, so that should be okay. I'm realizing that there's so many roads here. Um, keeping them clear in the winter is going to be impossible. <laughs> so I may just have to asphalt the main road and just tell my technical service office to only worry about um, asphalt roads that may be a good enough option which means the whole quarry in the middle here will just be sn uh, snowed and iced over which is probably necessary evil i don't know why my nose is always itching and i know that on camera and it's kind of embarrassing but it's, yeah <laughs> you know you gotta itch the itch okay uh let's do this again 2,000 people again. Let's not go... Well, this one... Should this one be bigger? No. I don't want them bigger because I would like my technical service offices to take care of all the water needs and all those needs uh, for the area. So I don't want it bigger than that. I don't like this. Don't like this. There's food coming in. There's a food truck, I think. Nope. Yes, your food truck. Okay, I don't like that it's a little bit... Um... It, it doesn't get full enough, so I rather set this up to be at least 60% full, so I have a little more time in between. The bistro and the other places, I don't think I worry about that much. Uh, bio waste, sure. Why is there no waste there yet? That's weird. There's some meat here, yeah. This meat will never be full. <laughs> there's there's no way. Uh, epidemics uh, report. Cool. How about this? Increased birth rate. Yeah, that sounds great. That's something that we need. Um... Don't like that people are waiting in front of the HQ. Just nobody go here because there's nothing to do for you. Uh, do, 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 do. There should be some research ready for us here. Let's click on that button and let's do more refinery work. Awesome. Um, don't get distracted. You have another... We have 0% unemployment. I barely ever get to that. <laughs> That's good and scary all at the same time. So let's build a village and this little thing. We have a little box. I think we're going to make the box... A bo well, close box will be this and this and that's our village i think we're far enough away to not get hit by any real pollution so yeah we're just gonna work on this uh we have a little bit of a mountain there so uh, we'll see how that fights us while we're building this but let's get started uh first let's get food uh small shopping center again just like so where do we get our food from it will come from here here this is this is the access road that we need to connect to so let's get you connected to something over here 
Um, I don't want to take up too much space, so I think if we just do this, we may have a pretty good chance. I like it. Okay. Uh, whoop. Didn't, didn't like what I was doing there, but that's fine. So you're connected here, got this building done. Awesome. Um, and then, yeah, this one kind of has to be connected. I think that is okay if we just use, well, if we just use this existing road, that should be okay. And then, yeah, let's get our meat storage in there. I think I'm always going to do meat storage now. Um, it just, the meat, once the meat runs out, people get so angry and it's not worth that trouble. So I much rather um, make sure that, that is something we take care of soon or quickly or very early on so that we don't that we don't have to pay the price for that but that's fine um, and you know me I don't like to just copy the same setup so this is kind of copied and I get that but now we're going to build a city core around this and plumbing and sewage and all that stuff that is relatively easy to do later on so I'm not going to worry about that for the time being also I don't see an easy water drop off because this is not deep enough I don't think that's relatively far away. I realize we don't have any water and sewage set up on, <laughs> out here in Snutuff um, at all. So we're going to see how that goes. But that's fine. Uh, what do we want? City core. Okay, city core needs what? You will get a palace of communism. Uh, concert whore. hall. Yes. Yes, 100 for 200. That, that sounds great. Um, actually, it sounds fabulous. <laughs> Let's put that here. Um, then TV, no, I don't think I want that. Um, a sports hall, just a big, this is too big for 2,000 people, buddy. This is way too big. 25 for, 7 for 4, this is also too big, but at least it's not the same as the last one. So, plop both of these down here. I know that this one, 100% needs a road connection, which makes me self-conscious about this. Let's get, make this connected like so, and pull this through like so, and then maybe that's better, or worse. Hard telling. Nobody knows. It's unknowable, they might say. Um, then let's do a little more purposeful placement of a monument. The star again, until we have... Well, should I do the star or should I just do the Taras, the, the Shevchenko monument? I don't know what it stands for. That's probably a bad thing. Uh, but this would also totally be sufficient if we put that right here. I want this one instead. Okay, well, place that one. It has the same range, and I'm not terribly worried about the percentages that they give you, because as long as you have constant percentage, um, your government loyalty will go up. Two million in the bank, look at that. Okay, that's done. Good. We could just put a residence hall here and have a bus drive you to the medical university. That is not a completely awful idea. Um, it just has to be enough buses for that to work, but I, I don't hate that. Uh, and here in this town, we will have enough... Um, people that can actually do that. So yes, we're, we're gonna do. We're not gonna pull the university in this town village. Um, it will just be a little more independent. So that's fine. Uh, police and all that stuff. Yes, I would like that, but I would like them to be closer to wherever we need them. So that should be okay. Fire station, I think, just down here will be more than sufficient. Gosh, that the the area of. Um, like where you can't build it's just weird when you flip the buildings i i think it's a little it's a little little comical but okay whatever i haven't done any trash in the other one you are um i have that technical service office which won't be enough for snow plows i i need another ts for snow plows i think that is pretty I'm pretty certain about that but we'll figure that out so for waste i think all we really need for this city is a large transfer station outside of town. Um, this is outside of town, so there should be enough. Uh, Pluppy right there. And then... Um, hey, you're not, you're, not, you're not building enough right now, buddy. <laughs> do, do more. Uh, you can do, do that, that, and then number two, I would like you to actually finish this and the border connection. Thank you. Um, construction office one, you're working on this and this. Are you out of gravel yet? I wouldn't be surprised if you are. No, you're not. You're, you're doing just fine. Okay, so the driving distances are just too long for it to, to really care. So yeah, so trash comes in there. And then here we just have to make sure that we have good enough trash collection in most places, which may translate for me to uh, put another outside road connection here. 
that will just be so that we can put trash containers uh, in common areas, common spaces, and um, do that stuff. I think that'd be good. Okay, let's get that here. Get the construction office on that and on this. And on this, the construction office. Yes, built that so we can do stuff a little faster. Awesome. Um, okay, you got distracted enough. Go back. Are we doing anything over here that we need? Yes, we want more tram roads. Okay, okay, okay. We can do that. That's, that's necessary. Mm. That one and that one is what I want. I don't need the other one to be a tram road. Uh, construction office too. Get these done. Thank you very much. We could, while we're at it, we can just make this a tram road because this will be a thing later on. And right now we have money and material and uh, machinery to do this. So may as well get on that. Good. That looks great. Gravel road is being worked on. Okay. Got distracted enough. Back to here. Anything else left over? Yes, there has to be a pub in a small town. I, 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 I think that's just a, a common thing that should just be there. So let's build the pub somewhere in the center of town. Cool. Um, what do we do for sport? We did that one for sport. Okay. Uh, next. Kindergarten. That's always something that I add later. We do need a local clinic. Uh, put that next to the fire station because, um, reasons. Now I'm leaving some space for a footpath and I'll probably have to move this guy. Uh, but that's fine. We can figure that out later. Kindergarten. A school. Yes. Same size of school that we had earlier. We don't need a road connection. So this one... I may wait on for just a little bit. Should that just be behind all of this? I don't think I hate it. Having a school this close to like this gymnasium or this the sports hall actually feels very familiar with where I grew up. <laughs> so uh, we're going to kind of do that. Can I, can I squeeze you in here? Yes, I can. Um, no, that's, that's just too tight. Put you on this side and then everyone will be happy. Okay, make it look like you're part of this. Part of this? All right, there you go. Now, this is one building. Clearly, obviously, right? Good. Glad we had that talk. Um, I think most residential will just go in there and a little bit will go back here. So a um, road passenger station can go right in front of us. And I think in this case, there's just not that many options. <laughs> there, there just aren't. We could do this, but it's too modern. I, I, like, I like the old school one a little better uh, because it looks a little more old school. So... Pop you in here, that'll be all connection, and this we, we will have, just have to be in 400 meters from this thing, which is probably everything around this whole area. Let's see. From there to there is 300 meters. See, it doesn't matter where we put something. Everyone should be in walking range of everything, which is perfect. All right, let's pick a... Oh, heat. Let's place a heat, heat building, because that will cause the issues. Uh, right in the center of town, behind the pub. Sure. Good enough. That'll work. Uh, construction office are you doing this thing yes you kind of are and you kind of are very good can you get here no but you can get here awesome um do i have to remind you i'm doing something out here yes it's things are going way too smoothly something will go awry and i will miss it but that's fine at least i didn't have to speed through this episode we actually have something to do which is really what i wanted um I, I understand that for the last few episodes we were just a little slow. There were the 37 and 38 where I was effectively dying. Uh, that was good, but I think the rest I would have probably skipped if it wasn't a don't skip anything um, type of behavior. Okay, does this town need a bistro? Because we didn't add fancy... Well, we added this. We added the the theater, the town hall, that, that, that building. Um, let's put a bistro right next to the bus station. It's also very... Very homey. That's that's exactly how it happened, just not in that area. Let's put you a little further away. I just want enough room to put a footpath through the um, road connection that will go there. And that should be fine. Um, anything else? We don't have... Do we have police? No, we don't have police. We don't have secret police. We don't have power. We don't have sewage and water. Um, technical service. That's a big one. Uh, we can't really get around this. Whatever we do. Yeah, put you in a mountain. Great. Um, awesome. Make a road connection like so. A little less bumpy, please. Awesome. And then, yeah, you're just there. Perfect. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Technical service office pollution station. I hope we don't need it. If we do, we have a different problem. 
I did say I want to use residential halls here that will just go probably on the back end here. And this will be a separate uh, bus stop that will take people places. That was the school. We just don't have a kindergarten yet. We will just figure that out. Okay, residential buildings. Let's get something. Ooh, that's a different one. What is the quality here? I didn't look at that earlier. 91%, that's fine. 70%, no, no. Not 90, 90, that's good. Uh, 90, 90, 75, 90. Just seeing what my options are. This one looks new. Don't think I've built that one before. 50 workers. It's pretty small, but the heat water tank is effectively the same size as the other one. And look at these. I think we can build nice blocks of four and make these look good. Uh, flip them, reverse them. Okay, a little bit of space. Very good. And then let's copy that, clone that make a uh, make a square like this okay then copy clone that and this is going to be what this whole village is going to be made up of love it um is this boring maybe um but i like it now rotate you just to the side so we can connect the the footpaths the right way um that's a little close well too bad that's that's just how the developer decided to build that area so um line that up i don't know if you can see it but i'm trying to line up this footpath area in the middle because that's going to be the one where we have to actually do something with uh one more clone please and then i should take a tally of how many um buildings we already have Let's see is this one that's good enough okay um we have groups of four okay each one of these is 200 people so two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18. We're almost done. And we could argue that this side is already full. So there's just a little more space on this side that we need a couple more workers. Research program finished. Uh, bitumen, okay. Um, what else What else do we want? Refinery. At some point we have to build it. <laughs> I forgot that I had to research it, but now uh, luckily we're getting that done as well, which is peachy. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're just building on all the things. That's excellent. You're working on this. That's great. And then this also has to happen at some point. Nothing bad is happening. Our happiness is good. We just gained like 300 people. I don't like the pace of that, but can't do anything else right now, I don't think. All right, a couple more buildings. We need like 200 more people um, to fit here. And I think we will do that with fancy brick buildings. We have also this one. Ooh, low quality rural flat, 70%. Why would I... You can't... Why? <sighs> they don't make sense to build in this game anymore. Please, please don't make these available. Uh, there's 12 or 31. This one's the right one. So it's built in a nice little neighborhood. That's part of the elites. Uh, let's build it so that this uh, kind of points away from us. What do we need? We just need like 200 more people. We have 12, so we need about 20 of these buildings. That's good enough. Let's... Ooh... Part of me wants to build the road first and then just place them next to it. So let's do that because I'm sure that will be more interesting than just building something else. Oh, oh, we, we can go full skylines here. We can build a normal roundabout road there and then build a cul-de-sac type of, not cul-de-sac, well, kind of cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac kind of behavior here. That's just the rest of the village. They just have to go uh, through one of the, the connectors. And then in here, we can go build another little neighborhood type thing. Beautiful. Look at that. I, I, I <laughs> I'm very happy with this. Um, okay, let's build some buildings. They will all be the same because in communist Russia, communist Soviet Republic, we all did the same, uh, same building. So we don't have to copy any of the setups here. I just have to count one, two... Okay, we have 24 here, that should be totally fine, and I'm assuming, or no, we have more than 24, but yes, they should all be in walking range of this thing. And I removed some of the buildings that we had out here because that is where we want our residential, our uh, students to live, because they have to do something useful as well. And obviously these buildings are a little bigger than what we used to, which is fine. Um, I don't want them too far away. Actually, can you stop building this road, please? Um, at least the part that's already started. Because I have a feeling, and you, you don't have to demolish this piece, it's fine. Suspend. Continue. Suspend. Okay. Are you are you being demolished or are you being built? Demolition. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's just 
being complicated. No demo office in range. Of course not, because reasons. Uh, cancel demo. Okay, this one. There you go. Just, just figure it out. We'll go from there. But now we just need an area where we can put our students, which is... If we do the long residence halls, it may be a little easier. Put one here. Flip the other one around. Uh, make just one big block of residential buildings. I like that. And then we can put the actual university stop uh, right here. This is not just for the village that lives here. This is also for external students if they want to if they wanna go this route. Um, but this should be fine. Then, let's see. Can we... <laughs> Part of me thinks that this road that was there is still going to be the way to go. So let's make you come out a little bit. Then connect you there nice and straight. That looks fine. And then let's see what road connection I can actually build there. And here, for students, I'm okay with building something a little more sophisticated. If I flip this, what do I get? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is what I want. I will just put you right here. And, and you will just come in this way. The most straight even if you can no nope, this is good that's fine that can all get built we we will have to i will connect the road pieces for all of the single buildings um i'm not ashamed of that but that should be fine okay you know what this is the perfect spot for exactly you guessed it this kindergarten <laughs> uh we may need that road connection there okay uh maybe the kindergarten goes right on the road because when people go to work um they like to drop off the children anyways so yeah this one can go through there this all looks good now we'll just like like all of this to get built and why this is getting built which is part of why i wanted to do this and why i wanted to get this done this way is while this is getting built we can concentrate on prettifying the city uh we can get this other village up here completed which we are apparently already pretty close to uh which is great there's there's a lot more stuff to do uh, all the utilities have to be done first regardless of what we do uh how about you build that and you build this and you build these two Construction Office 2, obviously, if you don't if you don't see it. And yeah, there's there's a lot to do here, which is great. Uh, because now we can actually spread our attention a little bit, which is what we wanted. I would like a couple of bold well, this is not done yet. Okay. Construction Office 1, are you on that? Kind of. Everyone is on that. Alright. Yeah. So let's spread our attention a little thin and get a couple extra areas done. And then I think next time I will try to concentrate on getting our um getting our rail construction office built somewhere in this area potentially out here because this is where we want the bulk of the construction to happen i don't know 100 where i want the rail to run yet it's very possible i have it run through here there's a little bit of rail that has to go through that area as well so we can't forget about that um, I think the easiest would be to just cut through a couple of these fields they're, they're not set in stone um, we just have to make it work. And this one can also get uh, rearranged a little bit. But yeah, there's rail that comes through here. May as well make the rail go through through this area to get to um, this place. But those are all things for later. I'm not 100% sure on any of that yet. And usually things just change as I um, as I think uh, as I forget things. Let's just call, call it what it is. As I forget what I was talking about five episodes ago when we get back to this. Um, things will change again, but that should be okay. Yeah, let's throw a couple more trees in here. I think this is more a beach-type area, and the beach can be a little heavier where we don't have as much residential areas, and then we... Oh, there's a little forest back here. Love it. Yeah. Great. Um, and then just make that forest thin, thin out a little bit, and then for the rest of town, we can just plant a bunch of bushes. And make it look a little green. I think that is awesome for what we can do here. Cool. Let's find someone to ride around. Ride along. Ride, ride around. What are you? What is this one? Oh, trash. Hazardous waste. Yes. Is are we at the point where this is actually being overloaded? Uh, distribution office is not full. That's good. And none of these places are actually overflowing. That is awesome news because that means it's kind of working. The city looks great at night. I don't think anyone can argue that, so uh, keep that up and going. I like this number a little better. Someone about meat and food, just if you go here and you don't get served right away, they just complain and it's just like, oh, come on, buddy. 
Um, but that's fine. Um, yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to end like we started. Hope you guys liked it. If you do, one, just, just want to say, um, I realized that some of these episodes are stupidly long. And the season is already stupid long at 41, and we're nowhere near done. I think if we get if we don't get to 100, I will be very surprised. But I'm kind of excited because with the new waste management, the mid game and the end game has changed and got complicated. And I count that as a great thing, honestly. Like, you, you cannot just set it and forget it anymore. You have to make sure that all the previous areas still have everything that you had before. That includes construction office setup, that includes good snow coverage, that includes better fire coverage than we needed before. There's just a lot of potential just in that, and that is exciting, uh, in my opinion. So, that's good. 4% um, unemployment, that's fine. Our happiness, I, I would like to see the happiness in the 80s again. Um, I think we have a chance to get there, but not without booze. Um, and I just need more people for that before we get there. But, um, yeah, that's that's a continuous problem. Maybe I just have to get a TV station up and running. Very possible. Uh, but we just have to keep looking how those things go. Oh, I didn't do a fire. Sorry. Yeah, fire? No. Uh, heat. I didn't do a heat heat coverage on the, on the previous area. I think we can start building the NPP next time. I hopefully get one of the villages done, um, ideally the one that we built first, and I should probably go look there. Uh, with that, I would like to get the oil derricks set up in that area. I would like to get the power, get the power connected to our initial start up here, and that will require a little bit of finesse because I don't have a good um, area where I can just jump in. At least I don't think I did. Did I have one of these? There is one right here. So there I can uh, jump in here. But for temporarily, I have to disconnect this piece that goes in here. And then, yeah, just there's going to be some work required. I think I have some room here to make all that happen. It just um, won't be a quick job and it will be a little dangerous as well. But I would like to get all of this hooked up the right way so that we can survive um, throughout our everything. Uh, so, oh, this one currently only gets power from the NPP, which is also interesting. There's no other power coming in here. Maybe that is something I should look at as well. Because without the NPP, this, this whole village is just going to not exist. All right, interesting. You need you need footpaths. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to that later. <laughs> we'll get to that when we, uh, when we feel like it. Let's get you in here. Let's get a footpath in here. Very good. And the rest we can just do later. And yeah, there, there, there's more. And this is why I did what I just did. To get more... Uh, diversity and what we're actually working on and i think that's a good thing awesome um that's what i have for now thank you so much for watching uh I, sorry i was trying to say earlier i really appreciate all of your continued um well support 100 but uh continued interest in a series that is relatively long i hope the format is something that you um appreciate you're okay with because it is a little different than what i usually do um, but I kind of like it because it just means that I don't have to sit in between for a few hours fiddle with things because there's often something in there that is interesting enough to um, not skip. So that's why we're doing this. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. And next time we'll be back and do more. And hopefully this will be an exponential. We're starting the exponential growth now with building more villages and more like smaller towns and another big town probably and like other areas where we can get distracted in. That's the goal here. Hope you like it. See you again next time. Bye-bye.